What is up, guys? It's me, Alex, and uh, as you can probably tell, we are no longer in the Lexus. We got ourselves into a brand new 2015 Ford Mustang EcoBoost. What is up guys? Welcome to the 2015 EcoBoost Mustang. I just got it. As you can see, it has 526 miles at this point. I got it with 60 some miles. That was after doing two test drives. Uh, it is the premium package and the performance package. And let me go ahead and start her up. As you can see, the little pony comes up, and here are your selections. Now this one has the navigation on it, so that's one thing that's uh, like a $700 add-on if you already have the bigger screen. As far as these go, um, originally during the day, everything's going to be white. Once it gets dark outside, it will change to blue or... What you can do if you go into the menu under settings and my color under the gauge color you can change the gauge color to anything you like now the cool thing about this is under the my color for the car you can actually create your own custom color so if there's a specific color you want you can try to make it on your own uh, currently as you can see there's a trip meter there's a track app, there's a driver assist, and then we have the gauge mode, which features your air fuel, cylinder head temp, inlet air temp, oil temp, and voltage. And it also gives you distance to empty tire pressure. Now, if you click on it, it's going to show you an actual gauge of whatever you want to look at. So since we have the boost gauge and the oil pressure gauge over here, we're going to have the air fuel ratio over here. Um, this particular car, has the GTR wannabe switches which you flick up in order to enable or disable whatever you're trying to do so for example for the traction control we're going to flip it up traction control off flip it again traction control on now we have steering assists and overall car assists this one here for the steering assist you have a couple different options you have the normal mode, you have the sport mode, and the comfort mode. I personally keep it in sport. I haven't bothered checking the others, so I don't know what they feel like. I just like the sport feel, and I'm not going to bother changing it. You don't change what ain't broke. Then next we have the mode selection, which gives you normal, sport plus, track, and snow and wet. Now, I'm driving in normal mode on the daily basis. If I ever feel the need to be a little more uh, vigorous with the throttle, I will put it into the Sport Plus mode. However, for the track mode, I was advised to only really put it in track mode when I am at the track because apparently the fuel injectors will just dump fuel into the engine. Rather not that is the case, we will find that out next weekend when we go to our first autocross. So, we'll see. Also, one thing I want to report, when using the Sport Plus mode, uh, it seems to um, boost up a little further. Um, I want to say usually it taps out around 16 or 17 pounds, and in the Sport Plus mode it looks like it's going up to 20. So that's something to keep in mind. I'm going to check and prove that later just to make sure that actually does happen. Uh, so as you can see, this is the steering wheel. Uh, lots of buttons. You have your sync controls, your music controls, your display for the gauges, and you have your cruise control options. Uh, for your light controls, they're over here. You also can brighten or dim your lights whatever you want and you have for the electric seats you have three memory options up to three different people can have their memory set 
for the glove compartment, we have the regular glove compartment and we have the glove compartment where the owner's manual goes. My owner's manual currently is still sitting here. I don't know if I want to keep the actual owner's manual in the car. I might end up putting something else there, but that's what we have over here. A uh, beautiful shift knob. And uh, for a stock car, I also have to say the car shifts beautifully. Uh, like I said, this is the premium package. So the light accents that you can see in here, they're also in the door handles and on both sides where your feet are supposed to go. Also, we have the little cubby hole here, which currently houses a couple of CDs, my iPhone, which I'm using as an iPod, and my charger for my Samsung Galaxy S6. Now, uh, for me particularly, I sit very far back, so the back seat is pretty much useless. Uh, here you see Totoro, so it had a Totoro. Thumbs up if you know who Totoro is. I also have an umbrella back here. Uh, we have an auto dimming rear mirror, and we have the My Home link system in here as well. So that basically means that we can program our garage door opener and our gate opener if you live in a gated community. Uh, other than that, that would really be everything on the car. Uh, like I said, the car has the performance package. So we have bigger brakes, better tires, bigger wheels, bigger radiator, and I think that's... Oh, and the rear spoiler delete. Uh, as far as the premium package goes, you get the... Oh, and I guess in the performance package, you get the gauges as well. Uh, in the performance package, we got the speaker system, which is a shocker speaker system, which features 12 speakers and a sub in the trunk. Uh, you also get the bigger screen. Again, navigation has to be purchased separately from the uh, premium package. So that is a $800 add-on. Or if you go to your dealer, they may be able to work a deal out for you. As far as the car goes, I'm very pleased with it so far. And um, once I hit around two or 3,000 miles, I'm going to do like a comparison video if I still feel the same as I did when I first got the vehicle. But as of right now, I'm really, really enjoying it. Oh, another neat feature. As you know, in 2015, all cars are mandatory, or it's mandatory for cars to have a backup camera. But with this one, since we have the bigger screen, it looks spectacular. Now, another thing, um, an important thing that I want to add in, because I haven't seen anybody else talk about this, uh, when the car's in reverse and you are on an incline, when you're in gear, or in first gear, I haven't tried in any other gears, and you put your foot on the clutch and you release your foot off the brake, the car will not roll back. That is a really, really neat feature to have, and I'm really glad that Ford decided to do this. I'm in Florida, so we don't have a lot of hills or steep inclines, but uh, for you guys that live further up north, we actually have mountains or hills, whatever you want to call them, that will be a benefit to you. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the inside of my new car. Uh, there are lots more videos that you will see. Uh, I already ordered some very important parts that need to go on the car as soon as possible. Uh, not necessarily performance mods, but mods that will increase the longevity of the car, or I should say more or less the engine. So we're going to have some videos on that, and of course there will be performance mods in the future as well. So don't forget to give me a like and a thumbs up, and I will see you guys soon.